Did you ever have one of those jobs that you thought you could get her done in a couple weeks and you're on month three now? Well, that's where I'm at right now with my pad. Now, if you guys have been watching my channel, you saw me cut this great big spruce tree down. I removed the root, built a nice little privacy fence, but now it's time to concentrate on building the pad that I want. And eventually this is gonna be a driveway. I'll bring my trailer in here so I can work on it, plug it in. But most of the excavating happened when I tore the root out, but we still gotta keep on digging. So it's a matter of getting rid of some grass, and then I'm going to uh, go along the border with a two by six, and then we'll put some filter cloth down and then fill it up with gravel. So there's a lot of little steps if you want to do it right. Um, you want to be down at least six inches. You know, the, a lot of this is, uh, you know, I'm close to the clay, but there's still a little bit of black dirt here and there, and that's not a big issue. You're just building a pad, you're not building a road. So we're gonna get it close, put a filter cloth down so that, you know, our gravel and uh, dirt don't mix. It'll help with the uh, weeds as well. I don't have to worry about the tree coming back, but uh, uh, weeds are always an issue. Anyway, I've got a lot of digging to do here, and my trailer only holds so much, so I, I uh, fill it up. I've got a couple places that I'm dumping it. A lot of people are liking black dirt, and uh, you just keep going. But I don't do it all in one day. You know, the guy gets old, so take your time. All right, enough talking. So I'm working well into the evening here. That's the nice thing about living in the North Country. It's 10 o'clock, and usually we can work till about 11 where I'm at. 
and uh, but you can see that roots, man, they're everywhere, and yet the tree was way over there. But we'll just dig around them and then uh, cut them off. Easy. Okay, just in that spot where I was digging, and uh, you can see that we're just about done. That's how many roots I pulled out of there, and I'm still going. There's still more out there, but that's for stage two. I've got to dig this little spot out here, and then I'm going to start laying in some uh, border. Okay, here's my thinking. I got everything excavated enough that I could actually put my edging in. And I'm not going with some fancy stuff, you know. Um, just going with a uh, PWF pressure treat so that it can be underneath the ground. Two by six, and that's all you need. You just need a little bit of a border. You don't need to have big six by sixes or anything like that. They're harder to put in. So what I'm going to do, I just screw these on, I want a couple of inches above the top, like this. I'll show you what we're going to do with those later. Remember, we're not holding up a house or anything like that, so we only need a couple of these. on the inside. Okay, I'm going to start over here. A mark at three feet here. So this should be five feet. If it's square, it needs to be square to the, uh, the sidewalk. I've got to go over just a little tiny bit here. All right. Looks pretty good. Now that we're pretty square, I'm going to tap this guy down. Now I'm going to bring this about a quarter of an inch below. I know it's not going to make that much difference in the winter, but you don't want to hit the shovel with the, uh, or hit the corner with the shovel. This is probably going to come up once the frost comes in anyway.
All right, now that we've got that in, we can continue on with our job. Go that way. We're gonna put a couple, we're gonna still put a couple more stakes in between here and screw them in just for a little bit more reinforcement. And then this extra dirt is gonna come in behind and that's gonna hold everything up. Looking good. I got this one here nice and level. Now it's time to put this one in. And I've just stuck a two by four on the other side here so that we can join the two together. We're gonna have to do some more digging, I'm not sure. going to reach or not. All right, I got so excited. I, for, I think I forgot to push the button to to uh, record, but I got my gravel dumped, and you can see I got lots of gravel here. So I'm gonna have to move it up to the front a little bit and just keep digging and keep going. No worries, guy like me, nothing but time.
All right, I couldn't film today. The sun was shining right in my eyes. But I've excavated all the way now to the sidewalk. I've got my filter cloth down. I got my boards in today. And it's really, really hot. So I am just going to continue bringing the gravel from way over there over to here because it's a little unsafe having a drop off next to the sidewalk. So that's my goal today. And then I'll just continue on as far as that takes me and then I have to go get some more. Today, I finally at a point where I'm happy with my driveway. I got enough gravel on there I want to compact now and then I can, you know, in a month or so put another yard of gravel on top, you know. But I finally got it done. You know, this has been a project that was a little more than I expected. You know, I kind of thought, you know, five, six loads of dirt ended up being 15 or 17. And then, of course, too much gravel. I had to keep going. I was going to do this over the summer. But it's mid-July now. Well, again, we're pushing near the end of July. And uh, I've got it done. And now I've got just a little bit of landscaping to do. And I'm happy. I would suggest you get somebody with a bobcat come in here and uh, do all this stuff. You know, I got the time. Well, I don't really have the time, but it was my... This is my way of exercising, you know, in the evening I just come out here and dig a load of dirt and then, uh, you know, when I went out to the acreage I'd dump it out there and it worked out really good for me, but this was a lot, a lot of work. So unless you're really up to it, you've got the time, go ahead, but um, yeah, I'm really glad it's done. It's been meet your, uh, your neighborhood though, because everyone stops see what's going on and I think that's just like the coolest anyway now they can say the crazy guy down the road has got his driveway done anyway thanks for following me along on this one you know it started out with cutting the tree down in March and now it's near the end of July and I finally got her done it's been a long road but it's a nice road thanks for watching <laughs> Until next time, thanks.